hey everybody what's up the gaming guru here and today we're gonna start our first UDK tutorial now before we can start getting into UDK you have to get it first alright so I'm gonna put this link in the description right here to the UDK website and you're gonna get, you guys can go ahead and download the latest release or you can download a previous version I have the latest release so this is the one I'm gonna be using the July 2013 UDK beta and it'll tell you right here you the system specs that are recommended for development and just for messing around so I would suggest that you look at this and then look at your system and make sure that everything stacks up because it is a very powerful program alright so once you get it you're gonna go ahead and open it up and this is what you're gonna be greeted with a whole mess of scary right it's not really that bad I promise alright this is what's gonna look like when you first open it up you're gonna have a welcome to UDK and then your content browser you can go ahead and close out of this welcome to UDK unless you feel that you wanna to go to getting started and video tutorials and all that you can just go ahead and next out of that and the content browser you can go ahead and next out of that too alright now this is what you have right now you have your four different viewports this is a 3D view this is a side view front view and a top down view you can maximize any of these viewports at any time by clicking this square up in the right hand corner of each viewport and to move around in the 3d one you could use your mouse and um, left click and drag it forward to go forward and drag it back to go back and hold both of them right and left and drag down to go down and up to go up or you could use WASD if you're a gamer that should be more it should feel better for you you know W go forward A back S and then you click down the right mouse to turn and look around that's the one that I prefer to do and then Q is to oh no excuse me Q is to go down and E is to go up alright but all that aside we'll get into what all these buttons do later I want you guys to go ahead and hit file and hit new level it's gonna say choose a map template go ahead down to the very bottom left and hit blank map alright now this is what you're going to be greeted with this red square and an endless horizon of blue squares or blue lines this is what you're going to be building on okay the first thing we're going to get into is CSG and BSP brushes don't take it as really technical it's really not CSG is just what you're going to make the level out of and the BSP brushes are going to help you so if you guys can go ahead right here hit CSG add you'll see that a cube pops up now this cube you guys can walk on you can run on you can do whatever you want but I mean that's not really a good level is it? it's just a little cube so what we're going to be doing in this series of tutorials is building a factory it might seem like an intimidating task at first but it's really not that bad alright so what we're gonna do is go ahead over here you're gonna see where you just hit CSG add I want you to go to the right and hit CSG subtract which will make it go away and then you're gonna come up here you're gonna see the square brush that says cube I want you to right click on that you see X Y and Z which is your length width and height the wall thickness you don't really need to worry about right now X what I want you guys to do is put 1000 for Y the same thing 1000 and Z you don't really have to worry about just hit build and then X out of that it's all done you don't need to worry about that anymore now like we just did a second ago go ahead and go over to CSG add and you will see a big square pop up in your level you guys can go ahead and maximize this viewport now alright now so let's say that you wanted to play in this level what you would do to play in this level is you could either hit this play button right here which will play it in the editor window but you know it will say could not find a starting spot so you hit OK you can right click on any surface like this has the little checkers on it and go all the way down to the very bottom and hit play from here but you'll see that it says paths need to be rebuilt and you can't see anything so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a light this is the quickest simplest way to add a little work light on your keyboard hit the L button and left click on the square you'll see a light pop up grab this blue arrow right here left click and drag it up 
until you feel it's good and it's lit nice. You can do this as many times as you want. You can put as many lights as you feel that you need. All right, so that, sh that, that should fix it, right? We can go ahead and play from here and it will, but it, it's not. You need to remember something. When you put lights in and build more stuff, you need to rebuild the level so that inside it knows what you want. So we're going to rebuild the lighting, okay? To do that, you're going to see up here, follow my mouse, up here, build lighting. Go ahead and click on that. Now there's something important you need to do right here. Build BSP, that's fine. Build static meshes, that's all fine. Generate building LOD textures, that's fine too. What I want you to do is uncheck right here, use light mass. We don't need to use light mass right now. Uncheck that and leave this at preview, okay? So uncheck use light mass and leave this at preview, then hit okay. These errors and warnings, the path needs to be rebuilt and all this is just telling you that there's some stuff that you haven't done and you shouldn't release your level yet. All right, so you're gonna right click on that and then go ahead and hit play from here. As you can see right here, it will be play from here. Some of you guys might have this. <coughs> Excuse me. It might come up like this for some of you guys. You might have this little character running around. You can um, left click to shoot and right click to do this. I don't really know what this is. It's just a little loop. Alright, but you guys might have him running around and if you do that's completely fine. Alright, so now that we have that built, the next thing that we're going to do is learn about landscaping. Or landscape mode. I have skipped over a lot, but that's just because I'm going over the basics right now. In the next tutorial, we'll get more in-depth into lighting and then more in-depth into building with BSP. Right now, I'm just giving you a rundown of everything. Just the crash course right in your face. Bam! All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit terrain editing mode. You'll see this pop up. Now, what you want to do is you want to go up here and go to tools and hit new terrain and then don't worry about this just hit next and then finish and you'll have this big square okay here here's something I didn't tell you guys and I'm sorry um, these up here are your different lighting modes we're in lit mode right now go ahead and hit unlit mode so you can see everything that's going on alright so we're here and what you're gonna see is this big giant square now what I want you guys to do right here is to come over here to where you have this. And uh, where is it at? Here it is, sorry. And hit toggle wireframe on slash off. Hit that and you'll see a bunch of little blue squares. Or if you guys want to change the color, you know, it can be whatever you want. Red, purple, pink, yellow, it doesn't really matter. And go ahead and increase tessellation one time. Just click this right here, increase tessellation one time. That's all we're going to do. All right, now this just looks pretty boring and blah, whatever, right? But what we're actually going to be doing is raising it up and making um, a valley sort of thing. It's going to be like a big bowl. All right, so here it says paint. So what we're going to do is you're going to hit the control key, hold it down, and then left click. It will raise the ground up. Now, again, I'm holding down control and left clicking for that. If you want the ground to go down, you're going to hold control and right click and it will make it go down. Alright, so you guys can go ahead and follow along with me on this if you're here. If you need to pause this video at any time, please feel free to do so. Alright, so we're controlling and left clicking again. And we're just going to make a big bowl. It's more like a square bowl. I don't know what kind of bowl is square, but this one is. Alright, so. Trying to come down. Alright, so we have our big bowl. You guys can go ahead and mess around with this all you want. I'm going to change the wireframe color back to blue. It's easier to see. Okay. Now there's some other tools right here. You see smooth, average, noise, and then flatten I'm sorry 
I kind of lost track right there. Go ahead and click on the noise button. I want you to go over the mountains you just made. Left click, or left, blah, 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 blah. Control left click and see what that does. This will add noise to it, giving it a rocky kind of alienated feel in my opinion. If I'm if I'm making worlds where, you know, it's really rocky or it's supposed to look really rough, this is what I use. And you can come down here and see all these little different things that are going on. Alright. So now that we have that, we're gonna try to do something crazy, right? You see where this says radius? Go ahead and turn it up a little bit. Go ahead and set it on 500. And then the fall off, we're going to set that to 325. So now go back over here, left click, or control and left click, and you'll see that the radius gets bigger. Nothing too fancy, right? Alright, so we're going to go to smooth now. I want you to left click. Oh, I keep doing that. I am so sorry. Control and left click and it will make everything all smooth again. Gets rid of all the rocky all the rockiness and all of that. Alright, so whoops. I don't care about AVG. So yeah, this is uh the first tutorial. And the next one we are going to start fresh. And we're going to start building the factory, alright? And I'm going to explain more about static meshes and volumes um, and painting the terrain and all of that, alright? This has been the Gaming Guru. Guys, go ahead and share this with your friends if you know that they want to be... Maybe they want to be an indie developer and they need somewhere to start. This is a good place. I've been using this program for three or four years now, so... You guys can go ahead and like this, share it, comment what you need help with. I'll make a tutorial personally for you. Alright, so this has been The Gaming Guru, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.